you know, you, I, I put in the book, they had this thing for a while called the Walmart Wiggle, where they would make all of their associates get together for, for a store meeting, and they would actually make them cheer Walmart, you know, give me a W, give me an A, and they would have the normal hand motions. And when they got to that little uh, dash in the middle, that you had to wiggle your butt. Like you, you did not have a choice. You needed to do the twist with your employers and you had to do it in front of customers and all of your coworkers. And if you didn't do it with sufficient vigor, they would make you come up to the front and dance harder, right? Like what does that have to do with your work? What does that have to do with, with getting your store run? It is specifically there just to let us know that they can make us do it. And it's there to let us know that, yeah, we'll, we're willing to do that for the money. And then we have to leave at the end of the shift knowing that we will literally shake our ass for the money, right? Like that is what they do. And so when you're talking about people misunderstanding, though, you're talking about a question of privilege. I think a lot of people look at sure. these low income jobs and these minimum wage jobs and they think, oh, well, it's 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 mostly kids. And even if it's not, it's not that bad. Well, they're thinking from their own perspective where when they go to work, they're respected, their opinions are heard, maybe their emails are returned. If they have a sick kid, they can go to their boss and say, listen, my child is literally in the hospital and might die, can I please go home? And they're pretty sure their boss is going to say yes. So they're used to those sorts of, of accommodations and they don't realize that those aren't built into every job. That's what you get from a really nice boss, right? That's not what we expect. What we right. expect at the bottom is to be told, no, you will be here from X time to X time unless we choose to send you home early or cut you or send you and bring you in late. And if that happens, we will hear no complaints. Like I have more than once walked a couple hours to get to work, worked 20 minutes, been told, well, you got to go home and then had to turn around and walk back home again. Um, you know, that is normal for us. So when you're talking about, about dignity and you're talking about what it means to do a good day's work in America, we're not even talking about a good day's work at this point. We're talking about just trying to scrabble to get the hours to get our paychecks together. Dignity at this point really is kind of superfluous. Like dignity is a privilege at this point.